Oh, oh, we're all we're all good to go. Okay, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start this all over. Pretend I said nothing, um, and and I'll and I'll so I'll go go I'll I'll go back and uh, and, and thank uh, um, uh, Kathy and, and and Aaron and the and the organizations for inviting me uh, here. And you can see I'm going to talk about organic acidemias uh, and 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 some work we've been doing towards uh, new therapies. Uh, so here are my disclosure, some research funding, um, and uh, some consulting work that I do. Uh, and now we'll go back to the, to, to the analogy of, of, uh, of, the, of the blocked water pipe. So inborn errors of metabolism are like a blocked water pipe. What your body is supposed to do is it's got chemical pathways, and it has to turn one um, chemical into another chemical, and it uses an enzyme to do that, a specialized protein. And if you block that pipe, um, you have two possible problems. One is you have a deficit of what's supposed to come out of the pipe, um, water, and so you don't know, got no water in your bathroom. But what also can happen is that you have a backup behind the pipe and things go where they're not supposed to be. So now the water's in your basement instead. Um, and, and, and so uh, we, are, we, are, uh, we have to look at the treatment from both sides of the problem. Um, so for organic acidemias, here's the, one of the main pipelines that we that we use and uh, uh, or we, we we think about and and, and uh, um, the the starting with the, the the three amino acids leucine, isoleucine, and valine and and uh, and I don't have methionine and threonine here for you with for those of you with PA and MMA um, uh, and I don't have lysine in here for those of you with GA1 but you get the idea um, and and you can get breaks um, in, in, uh, in any of these pathways. Let me grab a, a laser pointer here. You can grab in any of these pathways and you can see any place where there's a box, there's an organic acidemia. Um, and, uh, uh, and, 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 and uh, so, we, so, we, so, we, so, so we have lots of problems with, with stuff accumulating before the block and not what you need after the block. Um, isovaleric acidemia, um, which is what I've spent uh, the longest time in my career uh, working on, is due to a block in this, G this enzyme here called isovaleryl-CoA uh, dehydrogenase. And in this disorder, the, 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 the problems are, are mostly related, it seems, to the, 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 the chemicals that accumulate behind the block. So this is a classic toxicity disease. The things that accumulate um, cause, uh, cause damage. And so our our focus is going to be on how we can uh, how we can keep that from 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 happening, um, and and. Uh, just to, to to prove to you that it's 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 more complicated than 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 even that. So I need I need a job. Um, uh, the the the, uh, the the this is not a single uh, things don't go in a single line. All these proteins interact to make these big complexes that that sort of protect the chemical process from the rest of the environment. So the 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 reaction is happening here in the middle of all of these proteins. Um, and, and, and in fact, there, there's a lot of shared proteins in the early part of the pathway. So, so you, you, can, you, can, you have this, 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 this big complicated um, a bunch of proteins and, 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 and what we're trying to do is figure out how to, how to um, either make those proteins work better or, or uh, get around the fact that they're not there uh, working. Um, and, and when we do that, you can sort of uh, have this generalized scheme of, of options for therapies. So here's the starting chemical. We call that the, 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 the precursor, which in chemical terms is called the substrate. Um, and, in, and, in the, and in enzyme terms, the, 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 um, uh, the, the, what, what, that substrate is turned into a product. So this is, the, this is the crux of what we're dealing with. And if you block that, that's carried out by an enzyme, if you block that, um, you can have um, the, the, the problems that we talked about. So how do you keep that, the, the, how do you get around the problems? Well, you can keep uh, the precursor down. That's what we do with diet. We try to give you less of the thing that, 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 your, that your body or your, your child's body can't metabolize, um, and that's reducing the precursors. Um, we can, if, if it's a problem, a lot not having the, the, uh, the, 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 the end product of the pathway, we can give you that. So if, if uh, in, in some disorders you need sugar, we can give you glucose. Um, we can get rid of the things that are, are, are accumulating, the toxic compounds, and, and if you're really sick, sometimes that's dialysis. Um, but there are, 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 are chemicals uh, that, that can, that can um, 
uh, shift the balance of which direction these, the, 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 um, uh, the, 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 the toxic metabolites are going or the substrate is going and get rid of them that way. And you'll see some examples of all of these things. Um, how about giving you more enzyme? Well, you heard about enzyme replacement therapy for the folks on the other side of the, 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 the room. We don't have that for any of the organic acidemias, um, but we do have organ transplant. You heard some of my comments about liver um, and, 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 and what is that but actually gene therapy, right? It's giving you a liver with a whole new gene uh, and replacing the whole organ. But we can also, uh, the, we're, we're now starting to see um, uh, gene therapy uh, come into the into the the, the, the the treatment realm or the next uh, step in that pathway um, which is which is RNA so uh, the the mRNA therapies that are that that, that you're that you've uh, got available um, so what we do is going to depend on um, the, the kind of mistake that's present. And there are multiple opportunities for that to happen. There's something called the central dogma, which goes back to like the 1950s, where, when, when DNA was first being identified. And, and uh, DNA makes a molecule called mRNA, a copy of itself, uh, that is actually the, the template for making the proteins. That's the central dogma, DNA to RNA to protein. Um, and but, but it's a little bit more complicated than that because RNA is not made in the, in the, in the correct form to start with. It's made um, with, with parts that go for the protein called the coding parts, but then it's got the other parts that, are, uh, that, that, are, that, are, are, that interrupt that that are part of the gene called the introns, and you get, get rid of that. So that's splicing. Um, and then the protein starts off by adding one amino acid at a time, there's my, my, my uh, AV aids for the day. Um, and, and, uh, and, and so it's like adding pearls on a string, beads on a string. You get one at a time, you get this two-dimensional thing. Well, that's not what proteins look like. This is a protein. This is actually isovaleric acid, uh, uh, isovaleric dehydrogenase. It's three dimensions. So that take that bead and you gotta get it to fold up properly. So you can have problems that lead to the folding not happening properly. Um, and, and, uh, and then ultimately it's got to get to where it's supposed to go in the cell. Uh, so sometimes uh, for many of these disorders, that's actually inside the mitochondria rather than in the, in the cytoplasm, uh, the, 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 the main part of the cell where the, where the protein is made. So you got this issue with, with getting, getting things where they need to be. So you can, um, uh, 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 in, in, in addition to um, working on all of those um, parts of the pathway that are based on the chemicals that are accumulating, look at the problems in the protein um, that, are, that are happening. So I'm gonna to talk to you today uh, about some work what I, so that, that my lab is doing on isovaleric acidemia, on uh, DL2-hydroxyglutaric aciduria, um, on uh, uh, gl uh, uh, glutaric acidemia, and on PA and MMA. So it's a, a little bit of a whirlwind uh, tour, and then I'll, I'll refer to some of the things that you're going to hear uh, later in the in the uh, to th this afternoon, uh, or what you might find out in the in the hallway. Um, so one of the things that 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 is very very useful uh, for us are the bio samples that I hope you all are helping are, are donating out there uh, today. Uh, those are cell lines that we get from patients, and what that does is it gives us something that we can work with in the laboratory to help. Uh, study uh, the biochemistry without having to, to uh, number one, have the patients in, in front of us, but number two, to, get, uh, to make it a little bit more simple because the whole body is just too complicated to work on, at least uh, uh, at, the, at the first time. So we have, uh, I, I have, I have uh, uh, actually about a thousand cell lines in my biobank after, after uh, 35 years of, of, of doing this, and, and that's from, from folks like, uh, like, like you. And every time I get a new drug, or something else I want to test, I pull cells out of the freezer and I test it. So these are three cell lines for isovaleric that I that I, I, I pulled out uh, to test uh, to test some things that we wanted to look at. And I'll, I'll just uh, um, maybe take a second uh, to say, um, well, 
the specific disease that I might be talking about may be different than what you have. The principles are the same, and we're able to do this for 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 um, lots of lots of different steps in those pathways. So we're we, these are these are pertinent. Some of the stuff that I'm talking about will be pertinent for MSUD, for isovaleric, for PA, for MMA, uh, for for the for the whole bunch. Um, but we but we have uh, three cell lines that that we've been testing uh, uh, for for um, uh, a lot of our our studies re recently, and I'll only point out that that this one number three is is a uh, is a very very mild mutation uh, that that we we identify in newborn screening and I showed um, uh, quite a few years ago now that if you have one copy of that you actually probably don't have disease it's a it's a mild enough variant that the protein works well enough to give you to to, to be um, uh, to, to keep you from getting sick um, and and uh, um, remember, I said you can have a problem at any of those steps in in uh, in the um, uh, in, in the in the pathway. Well, that second mutation is one um, that 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 makes the the protein unstable. In this kind of a, an experiment, the black lines show that the protein is there, and and the the, the density of the line shows you that how, how much of it is there. Um, and so you can see in this one, this 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 patient has a little bit of a decrease in the in the uh, in the in the the, um, uh, the the amount of IVD protein that's there, and this one does as well. This one's missing it completely, um, and so uh, uh, there's this something about the mutation that's causing it to uh, not be not the, the protein not to get made properly because it's not something that affects either the the, the production of the RNA or the splicing of the RNA. Um, but I'll also point out that what you can see here um, is this is the enzyme that makes the next step in the pathway. Um, and, and it's decreased as well. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and so part of what we also have to consider is, is that if you make a mistake in one protein, you might have multiple steps affected. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and one of the things that we want to try to do is to, is to uh, in, our, in our studies, is to look at how well um, we, can, we can reconstitute the, 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 the whole pathway and not just that one enzyme. Um, so um, uh, you can see here that, that decreased protein, no protein, decreased protein. Um, and now this is a measure of the activity of that enzyme in those cell lines. And here high is good because that's the, 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 the amount of enzyme that you have. And here in our, in our control cell lines, uh, you can see here's the normal enzyme activity. So, so even though this one only has a little bit of a reduction in protein, it's got the same amount of enzyme activity as the, as the patient cell line that doesn't have any protein at all. So you can see that the, the effects are at multiple levels. Whereas this guy um, has has uh, enzyme activity that's that's pretty much the same as as, as the control. So for us, that says uh, that was one of the things that first started say, suggesting to us that maybe this 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 uh, mutation didn't didn't have uh, uh, any uh, didn't didn't really uh, cause cause disease. It just called accumulation of the of the of the um, the, the 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 chemical that we use to identify the disease. So we have a drug that we've been testing, and this drug um, binds to the protein, the isovaleryl coa dehydrogenase protein, um, and in, in, a, in, a, in a way that helps stabilize it while it's folding. We call that a chaperonin. Um, and, 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 uh, uh, and, and, and for, for some mutations in some proteins, you, you could find a chemical that allows that to happen. You can improve the the, uh, the 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 amount of protein that's there. And if the protein that you have um, has a that you that you now rescue has a little bit of activity, it may be enough to make a difference in clinical symptoms. Um, so here. Um, uh, this this uh, this cell line, which had a little bit of reduction in protein, uh, when we when we um, when we treat with this pro with this 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 chemical that acts as a, sh a chaperonin, uh, and we increase the amount of uh, of it that we put on the cells, the the enzyme activity goes up. So it's helping the protein not just fold, but fold in a productive way so that it's active. So we've 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 we've. Uh, um, uh, 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 gone, gone to uh, over 150 percent, and this is probably enough to rescue the 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 the, the, the disease in, in this patient. Now, this one didn't have any um, uh, any activity at all, 
um, at the at, uh, and, and no protein at all uh, when we started. But 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 feeding it this this the chamron, you can see it actually responded pretty darn well. So while the folding wasn't happening at all right from the start, it 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 we were able to rescue it with this with this molecule. Now in contrast, this cell line um, uh, uh, is, was was a. a this is a slightly different assay, so it, it, it does it looks a little bit lower than our than our um, uh, our, our, our control. Um, but this is the increase. This is not the actual uh, uh, activity. So this one um, was already pretty active, and it didn't increase very much with this. So it says that this protein is already in pretty good shape. Um, so this compound, as it turns out, is is a is is, is something that's identified in green tea. Well, you'd, you'd have to take a ton of it to make a, to make a difference. Uh, but it gives us a structure to start with, and we've already uh, developed some analogs to this, and we're, and we're testing cell lines, and we hope to be able to bring that, those into, into um, uh, clinical trials uh, when we have something that looks like it's, it's behaving as well as, as, uh, as, as, this, uh, as this guy does. We have one chemical uh, that, we, that we've, we've gotten from a, 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 an industrial um, uh, collaborator, and it, and it looks like it, it may be the one that we'll be able to move forward on. Um, so stabilization of the mutant IVD protein can increase the enzyme activity. Um, and and um, um, one of the things that I've always done is work um, hand in hand with, with uh, the, the basic science, uh, understanding how these, these folding processes work, for example, um, it, it will, uh, will in, in, in conjunction uh, with, with both seeing and studying patients so that we can merge the two at the end and, and, and bring them together. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna switch gears. Um, and, and I will tell you that I started this project because of this meeting. Um, I, I was doing a presentation on isovaleric acidemia, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago. Okay. Yeah, you may remember this. Um, and I, and I, and I had, a, I had a, at the, at the, it was all at the end, it all looked very good and the families were happy. There were a bunch of IV, IVA families there. And somebody with a disease called DL2 hydroxyglutaric aciduria stood up and said, well, that's all well and good, but what have you got for me? And I was like, I got nothing. Um, so I went back and I said, I, I have to do something, um, uh, and so and so uh, we've we've been uh, we've been working we've been working a, a bit on that. Now this is a, a little bit of a a, a strange disease uh, because it doesn't start from from one of these chemical reactions being um, uh, abnormal. It starts because a molecule that's necessary for energy metabolism. So completely different process can't get from where it is to where it needs to be. So the pipe is still blocked, but it's doing something different. It's a carrier protein and it's called the mitochondrial citrate carrier. And some of you, 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 you the patients or, or, or your, your kids may be on citrate as a way of helping to um, in, increase the, the amount of uh, buffer in your blood to keep you from getting acid. Um, and, and, uh, and, and it requires this protein to work, uh, this, uh, this, this citrate carrier. So it's got to get out from here in the, in the, in the, in the, in the cytoplasm. It gets into the, into the, um, uh, the, 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 the mitochondria, and actually that's a different protein. And then it needs to get back out if there's a lot of, uh, uh, citrate is a molecule that sort of helps signal the energy um, signature of the, 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 the cell. When there's a lot of energy, you make a lot of citrate, it goes out into the, into the, the rest of the cell from the mitochondria, and it makes lipids. It makes the, the, the fats that are, are critical to the structure and function of the cell. And so um, the, the, anybody who has a defect here um, can't do that. And so here's a problem where you have a backup into the mitochondria because the citrate can't get out, but you also have a deficit of what's going down here. Uh, what's going out here, these lipids. And those lipids are critical, it turns out, for, the, for, for normal brain development. So these patients have devastating neurodevelopmental delay. Um, the worst case, they, 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 they don't develop at all. Um, and so they're, they're, really, they're, really, they're really devastated. Um, and they also have a problem with energy metabolism. So they have a problem with something called lactic acidosis because they're, they're, they're not, the, uh, and, and, and then there's a, probably a second um, uh, a pro, uh, a problem inside the mitochondria is that this compound, what happens, the, uh, you gotta, gotta follow, the, follow the arrows, citrate backs up to something called 
um, uh, uh, eventually, I can't see where it is here, uh, two ketoglutarate right here. Um, so it backs up all the way through the, through the pathway. Um, and, 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 and so the toxicity, uh, the, the toxic molecules accumulate because you have too much of this two ketoglutarate. Um, so this is a really complicated project. We gotta fix both ends of the, of the pipeline. Um, so um, I, I, uh, I, 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 a number of years ago now, diagnosed a new patient. I'm not going to read all these slides. I'll just tell you, he ended up having DL2 hydroxyglutaric glutaric aciduria. We identified his, his, um, uh, his, his mutations just using standard clinical um, uh, 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 testing. Uh, and, 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 and because I had already felt bad about that, that uh, my, my most recent encounter um, here at the, at, the, at the OA meeting, uh, I said, okay, we're gonna do something. So we looked at, the, at, the, at, the, um, at, the, at, the, at some cell lines from this patient. Um, and, and, and here's another technique. This is something that looks at a cell's ability to burn oxygen. Remember, you burn oxygen, you make fuel. That's, a, that's, that's life. Um, and and in, this, um, in this kind of uh, a, a tool that we can measure uh, the, the oxygen burning in the cells under a variety of different conditions, um, high is better. So you can see that we had two different patient cell lines here, um, and, and in every condition we used, they were, they were, they were worse than, the, than, the, than the, the control cell line. So that meant these cells were not making energy properly, and that's what we figured um, would, would um, uh, would, would, would happen. Um, and, and if we gave them citrate, because one of the possible treatments for this disorder was citrate, because they said, well, if you don't have enough citrate in the cell, because it's being backed up in the mitochondria, maybe we could give you some citrate. Um, and, and, and that made it even worse. So here, this is that same, that same experiment, just pull the pieces out individually, and you can see when we treated with citrate, um, they, they, they got worse. Um, and, and so we were pretty sure that citrate was not gonna be good for these patients. Um, in the meantime, uh, our, our, um, one of the neurologists who used to work in Pittsburgh uh, moved to a different location um, and the patient followed them because they liked her um, and, and, uh, and, and the metabolic docs there um, sort, of, sort of got it in their head, well, maybe we should treat these patients with citrate because we're gonna fix the citrate, right? Well, they didn't ask me about it. Um, they did. Uh, they tried it, and the patient got much, much worse. Um, so we brought, we, 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 we got this patient back. We put him in the hospital. We took the citrate out. Patient got better. So citrate is not something we want to do in here. Um, uh, uh, and, but but we, still, we still don't know what the, what the primary problem is. So now we're looking at, at do we get rid of the, do we have to get rid of the, the dl 2 hydroxyglutaric aciduria? Is that the cause of it, or is it just an effect? Is it just something that's showing us what's going on? So which is the chicken and which is the egg? Um, so uh, one of the nice things about being in this business is we take care of all kinds of patients. And we take care of patients with a group of disorders called the urea cycle defect. And it turns out that we've been using for decades a drug uh, whose mechanism of action is reducing that two, uh, two ketoglutarate. The, the molecule that's, that, that's backing up behind citrate and being turned into the, the DL2-hydroxyglutarate. Um, it's called phenylbutyrate. Um, and and uh, we use it in the urea cycle defects where a buildup of ammonia is the problem because what it does um, is, is it's, is it's, 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 it's uh, metabolized into something called phenylacetate. That binds one of the amino acids, glutamine, and it makes this compound phenylacetylglutamine. Well, why does that help? Well, glutamine is made from glutamate, which is made from 2-ketoglutarate. So this is a sink of, from, but that pulls 2-ketoglutarate two, two out of the cell, um, and, and, and we hope out of the mitochondria. So we went back to our cells, and we treated some of them uh, with phenylbutyrate. Um, and it's a little hard to see this, uh, but, I, uh, but, but um, uh, first of all, if you try to measure 2-phenyl, uh, the, the, uh, the, the phenylacetylglutamine in a cell from an un, uh, uh, from from a um, without phenylbutyrate, you don't see anything. So um, here you can see in patients treated, uh, patient cells treated, this goes way up, um, and because it's buried down here, what you can see um, is that is that um, the two uh, ketoglutarate drops and the two hydroxyglutarate, the toxic molecule, uh, drops as well. What does that do for the cells? Well, here where the, the higher higher is good. Here's one patient cell line. 
um, and and you can and we treat it with an increasing amount of phenylbutyrate, um, and and it and it improves the energy in that cell. So we're fixing the second half of it, um, and uh, it, it it also uh, improves um, the the ability of cells to do fatty acid oxidation, one of the other energy pathways um, in the in the cell. Um, so we're, it looks like we're doing a great job on the energy. What about the other side, that, that, that inability to make the, the, the lipids that we're talking about? Well, citrate comes out into or the mitochondria, into, the, into the, the cytoplasm, the rest of the cell, under high energy conditions, and makes malonyl-CoA. That's the starting point for fats in the cell. Um, and, and, uh, and, and, uh, and so... Um, uh, if, if citrate can't get out, you can see that, that in patient cell lines, you can't detect it. You can't detect malonyl-CoA, uh, as opposed to what you see in the, in, the, in the control cell lines. When we treat them with phenylbutyrate, patient cells with phenylbutyrate, they normalize. So now we think we've got a, 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 a dual mechanism of action that will fix the energy, that will allow fats to be um, uh, made properly. Um, and, and when we look at, at those fats, what you can see is the red here uh, are, the, are, the, are the patient, the black is the control, and the green is the patient treated. So all of these fats um, that we look at um, uh, 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 with, uh, through a technique called uh, lipidomics um, I can sing and dance too. Um, the, 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 um, uh, and, and now uh, we're, we're, getting, we're, we're trying to uh, find somebody to pay for a clinical trial for this. So we actually, by hook or by crook, have managed to get drug for one patient in Mississippi um, who, who um, is, is, uh, uh, is not somebody I've seen, but his local me metabolic doc um, said that they, they've started treating uh, the patient with the drug um, and family thinks that the patient is much more alert and, and, and doing much better. So uh, hopefully that we'll, we'll be able to follow that and continue. I have a patient, my patient, that we're getting ready to treat, uh, uh, but, but we've got some, some, some glitches. And I've got some other folks around the country who have seen me present this and are trying to go ahead and, and, uh, and, and do um, uh, give the um, uh, uh, send, send patients over. Um, so we think there's, there, there's, a, there's a good chance that we'll be able to make a difference in these patients. And I, and I, uh, I, I hope that uh, sometime in the next uh, couple of years, we'll be able to uh, present this uh, uh, to you. And I know Kathy was kind enough to send out a notice through the OAA for me to get some more patient cell lines. Um, so we're, 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 we're moving this project forward. So uh, you all can take credit for the folks who were here 10 years ago who gave me grief uh, for for and and, uh, and and you know we're 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 we're, we're moving ahead. Um, the, the, remember, this is DL combined two hydroxyglutaric aciduria. There's a group in France that's been working on a treatment for the D version of this. It turns out there's a a, 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 a cancer agent uh, that 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 inhibits the uh, a different enzyme that 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 looks like it's 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 doing pretty good work uh, for for this one. So um, uh, no one yet in this country looking at that, but I would would love to be able to. Uh, uh, get that over here. Okay, shift gears, PA and MMA. Um, CoA therapeutics, and I'm just going to talk about the ones um, that, that, that uh, you, you, you probably haven't heard much about yet, because you've, yeah, and others will be talking about some of these other ones. CoA therapeutics is, is, is out there, so please go talk to them. They have uh, one of the problems in, in, in PA uh, and MMA um, is, is that, is that the, 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 um, the block in, in this pathway leaves you with a deficit of something called succinate or succinyl-CoA. Um, and you need that for that energy cycle to work. So here's a problem where you have probably toxic metabolites accumulating, but you also have a secondary deficit in energy because you don't have enough succinyl-CoA uh, being made. Um, and uh, uh, part of, part of uh, the, 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 uh, the, the toxic part of this is that the propionyl-CoA interferes um, with another enzyme uh, that makes um, acetyl-CoA, which is another key energy molecule in the mitochondria, plus for a lot of other things. Um, and so this, this um, um, uh, uh, the, the, the CoA uh, therapeutics molecule 
interferes with the ability of propionyl CoA to, inter uh, to interact with this um, enzyme, um, increases the flow of acetyl CoA, um, probably decreases the, 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 the propionate by a little bit, but maybe not. Um, and, uh, but, but is a, gives, gives a, is, is a, a, a way of, of restoring the TCA cycle. Um, so it's been well tolerated in, in healthy controls, um, and we're just getting ready to do uh, start a, a phase one uh, trial PA and MMA. Um, and, and, uh, and, the, and the nice thing about this trial um, is that it will be open to patients who have um, uh, who, who have already had a liver transplant. So we can look at the at the what's going on in the rest of the body, regardless of what's happening in the in the in the liver. So uh, this will this will be. Uh, 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 where, where I, I think we might be the first site opening up. I've been working with them to develop the study. This will be, yes, yes, yeah. Um, now the final piece here, I'm, I, I'm gonna tip my hat to Dr. Venditti um, and, and shortcut by saying uh, he can talk to you a lot, a lot more uh, intelligently about, about this than I can. Um, but, uh, but his group uh, uh, just published uh, what, I, what I view as a, a really uh, seminal paper, something that we have to really all look at very, very carefully and think about very carefully. Because what he showed um, is, is that, is that um, proteins don't always work by them as, 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 as just the amino acids that are put on. Um, they can be modified, and those modifications can upregulate and downregulate the protein. Um, and all of those mod a lot of those modifications are based on uh, the, the uh, level of CoA intermediates in the, in the cell. Um, and so in diseases like MMA and, and PA, where you've got high levels of propionyl-CoA and high levels of methylmalonyl-CoA, uh, what, what Dr. Venditti has shown um, is, is that that gives you an abnormally high level of, of uh, uh, amino acids that are modified by these chemicals uh, and can interfere with function. Um, and, uh, and so this now is true probably for gluteral uh, CoA. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's probably true for malonyl CoA. It's probably true for almost any CoA that accumulates in the, in the, um, uh, in, in the, in the cell. So he's going to tell you, I, I think, I hope, about some of his work um, uh, uh, that, that, that demonstrates that and how to, and how to get around it. Um, so, but, but, but the bottom line is now we have a different readout that we have to look at. So you can look at propionylation or methylmalination of proteins in the mitochondria versus succinylation and see whether or not your chemicals, your, your, your test drugs are changing those, um, uh, those, those levels. Um, and so we've been trying to design a bunch of, of uh, I, I, I built a, um, uh, um, a drug called triheptanoin, which bypasses the block in long chain fatty acid oxidation disorders, and that got approved a couple years ago um, by the FDA. And we've been trying to use some similar approaches to, to generate molecules that will um, improve um, the succinate level inside of mitochondria. So uh, with, the, uh, with the idea that even if you have excess propionate and, or propionyl-CoA and methylmalonyl-CoA in the cell, uh, that maybe you'll be able to uh, outcompete that by giving more uh, succinate directly to the cell. Um, and so uh, this just gives you a, a quick example of, of, of one of those. Um, here you can see a, a liver from a patient uh, with, with um, uh, propionyl uh, propionic acidemia, uh, where where um, uh, an antibody uh, that that measures um, uh, propionyl lysine, one of the amino acids that gets uh, the main, uh, um, uh, pro uh, propionylated in in, in patients, um, and and it lights up green. So here you can see this is very green, um, and and uh, in the in the um, I'm sorry, that one's the succinyl. So this is the succinyl. So it's very green. So normal succinyl. Um, and in the PA patient, a lot less succinyl-CoA, uh, succinylated uh, proteins. Um, and when we treat with our compound, um, uh, what, what you can see is, is um, um, uh, here, here um, uh, uh, in, in, in um, now uh, the, the, um, the, 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 the dots here are the, are the propionyl 
uh, in the in the control. So it's just a, a little little bit, um, but in the but in the in the patients, it's bright green. So abnormal propionylation, as as Chuck has already shown. Um, but we can treat with with uh, our our uh, compound, um, and what you can see here visually um, uh, that that the that the succinylation increases in cells. Uh, compared to uh, treated, compared to uh, untreated, um, and and this just shows you that uh, there's a there's an, an increase there. It also does stabilize some of the other proteins uh, that 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 are, are are affected in here, and I'll just point to you to uh, a, a couple. Um, uh, uh, down, down, well, down here uh, and up here, you can see that that this is a, a one of the energy proteins. It's decreased in patients, and as we increase our compound, not only are we increasing the the, the succinylation, but we're stabilizing the the energy uh, compound uh, complex um, here. Um, so. Um, dealing with secondary effects rather than primary effects. Um, and then the question is going to be, how does that uh, affect the, the, the body? Um, and, uh, and, and, and to do that, you have to go in to start looking at, at, uh, at, at, uh, uh, at animal studies. So there are some additional things that, uh, that are going on. These, are, these are, are all represented out there, except for the agios, um, we, uh, 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 which, who, are, who, are, who are building a molecule that will block entry right at the very top. Of the of the pathway, um, so that it'll stop uh, uh, products from uh, anything from from leucine, isoleucine, and valine from getting through the pathway. So it can't be 100% because you got to get some flux through the pathway. Um, but but uh, their their compound could be a treatment for MSUD, for IVD, for PA, for MMA, all of the things that we've been we've been we've been talking about. So hopefully uh, we'll see that come through in the next uh, in the next uh, year or two. But in the meantime, these guys are all active, and you can see them out there, and you'll hear a little bit from from other from other folks about it. Um, I, I am, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about glutaric because we got a slow start and I want to give the other, uh, to turn this over to the other speakers. Um, but we're also working on, 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 uh, on, on, on that. Um, uh, so uh, this is uh, from lysine to glutaric acid. Uh, and and uh, uh, one of the other ways that, that we've been working on, on um, uh, these these inborn errors is as I said to try to upregulate the amount of protein that the cell makes. So there's a there are, there are, there, are, there are a, a bunch of compounds um, that that sort of coordinately increase um, the the the, um, the the production of many of the proteins involved in mitochondrial metabolism. One of those is bezafibrate, and and um, all I'll all I'll uh, uh, say is that if we if we um, treat cells. Uh, with be from a GA1 patient with bezafibrate, we can we can improve them biochemically. I'm not going to try to go through these these slides with you for for lack of time. That unfortunately is a very weak stimulator of, of all of these proteins. So we have some much better ones, including one that's already in clinical trials for fatty acid oxidation disorders that we think will probably be better in this setting. So we're going to be we're going to be testing these uh, these cells. And the good thing about that is it's already in clinical trials. So if uh, if we if if it looks like it's working on on, on cells, uh, we have a mouse, and we can uh, we can uh, uh, go ahead and move that to uh, things uh, in, in pretty pretty quickly. Um, so I'm just going to. Uh, this is one of our uh, I think our first uh, patient in the in the Hemisphere trial, and I have permission to use this for mom. Um, and if you can't read it, uh, that that uh, that uh, the thing says. Uh, um, uh, 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 PA, PA trail or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it says, but he's doing the PA trial in PA, so kind of cute. Um, and, and, you, and you just got to, if, 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 you, if you have hesitancy about clinical trials, understandable, but think about it very carefully because it doesn't get to this point without having a lot of data behind it that suggests that it could work. Um, and so talk to your doctors, uh, think about clinical trials. For those of you with PA and MMA, my gosh, think about it, five years ago we had nothing, nothing. Um, and, there's, and there's a half a dozen things, either in clinical trials or very, very close to being there. Um, so, so without you, we can't get those drugs approved. Um, and, and so please, uh, please consider doing part of that. And uh, with that, I just will say, uh, I, I don't do any of this work. That's my lab um, and my clinical research team. I just, I just Take all the data and put it together. Um, so thanks. Uh, I'm I'm happy to uh, I'm happy to. Well, hopefully I do a little more than that, but uh, I have to pay for it all, of course. Um, 
<laughs> it, 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 it takes quite a few million dollars a year to keep all this, uh, all this going. Um, uh, there's our lovely children's hospital, and I'm happy to take questions if there's still time. I can't remember what the, what the, where we are.